dark green across the board. Bitcoin up 12%, Ethereum up 7%, DOT up, SOL up, ICP up, everything up, up and away. What has caused it? Have a guess. The Rocket Man is at it again. G'day crypto goers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where today we look at an article from Al Jazeera speaking about Tesla chief Elon Musk tweets making Bitcoin jump yet again. As always, a free and appreciated way to support the channel is by giving us a like, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends and don't forget to comment below. Less than 24 hours after I released a video on the red across the markets and how it made no sense with the inconsistent move of the markets going down comparative to the good news of everything that's happening in the crypto space, yet again we see inconsistent and illogical moves with Musk tweeting pushing the price up again. Now, when we talk about illogical and irrational moves across the market, what we're speaking about in the last video is all the good news that's coming out there that should have been driving the price up was resulting in kind of nothing happened. In fact, the opposite, the price going down. Now we see the little rocket man release another tweet and the price pumps up considerably. Looking at different sources for the news, this from the good people at Al Jazeera titled Tesla chief Elon Musk tweets and Bitcoin jumps again. Released just now, the article reads, Tesla Inc. Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk has tweeted that the electric car maker will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions when miners who verify transactions use more renewable energy. In a tweet released on Sunday, which is Monday Australia time, it actually reads the following, quote, when there's confirmation of reasonable or 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions, end quote. So going back to the irrational moves of the market, we can see that Tesla hasn't even said that they will resume accepting Bitcoin for their cars. Not that it would really matter in the big picture, because in the first instance, how many people are buying Teslas? And in the second instance, how many people would use their Bitcoin to buy a car? Think about it. Who would use an appreciating asset to buy a depreciating liability? Yep, this is the irrational moves of the market. Someone so powerful in the Twitter sphere who can release a tweet, sometimes just a one word tweet that can drive the market in a given direction, then a series of words that don't really say anything's gonna happen for now, yet it drives the price up. I don't know about you, my crypto brothers and sisters, but the wild ride that is the crypto price charts is never boring to me. Reading on, the article says Bitcoin surged 9.8% to $39,035 on Sunday, adding $3,492 to its previous close. Now, looking at the charts right now, noting that things move so quickly, Bitcoin is now at 39,500, up nearly 12% over the last 24 hours, and we'll have to see what happens. Is it just a dead cat bouncing? Is it a sudden pump, a manipulation of the markets, if you will? I would suggest be very cautious of FOMOing into this because we've seen these fake outs before. We've seen fake outs where we believe the thing is suddenly breaking away after a descending triangle and now breaking up quite aggressively here, as you can see in this little pattern here. In fact, if we look at the candles to this chart, Looking at one hour candles here, you can see this massive green candle just here breaking out with the news, with the green volume below just pumping this price up. But as soon as that has happened, you can see these volumes have dropped down significantly. And that's what I'm saying, be careful, this could be a fake out. However, as we can see, the markets are completely irrational, so only time will tell what is going to happen from here. Reading on with the article, Musk's post was in reply to a report in Cointelegraph, which cited Magda Rizika, something, executive chair of South African asset manager Signia, as saying Musk's recent tweet on Bitcoin should have prompted an investigation by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. Pause there for a minute. So Musk is playing with fire. He's playing with fire on two counts. Firstly, he is arguably, as we can see here, the chair of South African asset manager Signia is saying, hey, we should actually investigate this because it's a form, some would argue, of manipulating the markets, perhaps even insider trading. And when I say insider trading, 
If you were in Musk's inner circle and he told you that he was about to tweet something positive or negative, and we can see a clear correlation between a positive tweet, price going up, negative tweet, price going down, that is arguably something that could be illegal in the markets. Now you go on to the other side. Within the crypto space, there are some immensely powerful people out there who may take the law into their own hands. I'm not saying this is good or right. I'm just saying it's a reality of the world. When you have some very powerful computer hackers out there who are being antagonized to the point of these tweets, there is talk that there could be ramifications for what Musk is doing, not from the law, but from those who choose to take the law into their own hands. Will this happen? I don't know. Should it happen? No, because we don't want the laws broken. But I live in reality, and the reality is when you start messing with people's life savings and you start antagonizing some very powerful computer hackers out there, you are playing with fire. But reading on, Bitcoin, the world's biggest and best known cryptocurrency, is up 40.7% from the year's low of $27,734 on January 4. It was down about 1% to 38,888 as of 7 a.m. in Hong Kong on Monday. Ether, the coin linked to Ethereum blockchain network, surged 7% to $2,500 on Sunday, adding 165 to its previous close. Musk also said that Tesla sold about 10% of holdings to confirm Bitcoin could be liquidated easily without moving the market. Now, just on that, we saw in a video I released some time ago about the amount of Bitcoin that Tesla was holding in comparison to all the Bitcoin in the market. And it was such a tiny percent. In fact, from memory, I think it was like a fifth of a percent. Now, on one hand, we could see that when he liquidated Bitcoin, he could get fiat for it. And that was, on one hand, a very good thing. He showed the market. He demonstrated that when I sell all of this Bitcoin, I can get cash for it almost instantly for almost free. That was a good thing. However, the bad thing was it spooked the market. When the market heard that the Rocket Man was selling Bitcoin, all they hear is, Rocket Man selling Bitcoin, Bitcoin going down, everyone sells. And we saw this. We saw when he bought it, price went up. When he said they were going to accept Bitcoin for Tesla vehicles, price went up. When he sold it, even just 10% of it, price went down. Then when he said, we're no longer going to accept Bitcoin because environment, price went down. Now we see he's saying, we probably will accept Bitcoin when it's more environmentally friendly, price goes up. So if you were trading simply on people's emotions, which in my book I talk about in 28 Pro Trader Tips, markets are made up of people, people are made up of emotions, emotions lead to actions, actions lead to a market moving if those actions are buy or sell. And this is textbook market moves based on nothing else but emotion. The emotion of reacting to a big player, or perceivably a big player, because Musk isn't actually a big player in the crypto space. It's like for some reason, because he's a billionaire, he's been automatically elevated to a godlike status in the crypto space. Yet, we see he hasn't been with us for the entire journey. We see that he hasn't, in fact, made his fortunes from crypto. And we see he's done some very questionable behavior by trolling the markets with tweets on Dogecoin and Bitcoin and hypocritically saying that he's got concerns about the environment whilst seemingly supporting Dogecoin, which is also a proof-of-work coin, just like Bitcoin, and concurrently mining craploads of lithium out of the ground at a huge cost to the environment, whilst burning unforeseeable amounts of fuel to put rockets into the sky. I'll let you, the good viewers out there, make an interpretation of what that all means and what he's doing. Is this a plan? Is it just random? Is he purposely trolling? Is he doing insider trading? Who knows? Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts? What is the Rocket Man doing? Reading on. The tweet added to positive momentum as Elon's stance seems to be moderating and providing a target that's not far away, said Jonathan Cheeseman, head of over-the-counter and industrial sales at crypto derivatives exchange FTX. Quote, the rally was already underway as the market speculates about an imminent purchase from MicroStrategy and the G7 comments on crypto were neutral, even optimistic about digital innovation. MicroStrategy, whose chief executive officer Michael Saylor has become a vocal Bitcoin evangelist, last week boosted a junk bond offering for the purpose of buying the cryptocurrency to $500 million from $400 million. Pause there. Michael Saylor was originally going to raise money to buy $400 million worth of Bitcoin, and now he's up the ante by 25%, going up to half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. That's some serious commitment from a company 
that in my opinion will be one of the most valuable companies in the next 10 to 20 years. Watch this space. Musk has whipsawed Bitcoin and other digital tokens in the past few months. In February, Tesla announced it had bought $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and signaled its intent to start accepting Bitcoin as payment for vehicles. In March, Musk tweeted, you can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin, only to say in May that the practice was suspended due to concerns about fossil fuel usage for Bitcoin mining and transactions. Bitcoin fell more than 10% after that tweet. Pause there for a second. We know that approximately three quarters of all the mining energy used for Bitcoin mining is renewable energy. We also know that what China has done recently is a very good thing for the crypto space by banning crypto mining farms that are primarily run on fossil fuels, i.e. burning coal. Then you go over to El Salvador where they're going to run mining farms with geothermal power that is essentially plugging into the heat energy of volcanoes. And concurrently, the world is waking up to the mobility of these mining farms to move to where the power is free or in excess. This is a true power of proof of work mining. Yes, it's power hungry, but no, it doesn't have to use a centralized per se energy source. It is completely mobile to where it can source its power to enable the SHA-256 algorithm. Closing off on the article from the good people at Al Jazeera, the last paragraph reads, The U-turn has been controversial, as Wozniak reported comments indicate, partially because the moves by Tesla and Musk have had noticeable effects on Bitcoin's price. While there are other issues out there, ranging from institutional adoption and diversification on the positive side to sustainability and regulatory concerns on the negative, a Musk tweet can often change momentum and can dominate the narrative for days or weeks. End article there. That's what we're saying. Even when we have bigger news with bigger holders and bigger adoption, it is the mere words of one man that can drive an entire market. It will actually be an interesting case if they do try to take him to court, that is if the SEC has an issue with what he's doing, saying you have been manipulating the markets. To be completely fair, and in the spirit of free speech, the argument, if I was his lawyer, would be perfectly straightforward. He hasn't been doing this behind closed doors. That is, tweeting is a public platform and freedom of speech, a right of everyone, unless you're Trump, to communicate your thoughts to the world. The issue when it comes to insider trading is what I was speaking about before is, has he told anyone before he tweets? Has he had the opportunity to advantage friends, family, colleagues, his company to say, hey, long this position because I'm about to say something very positive? or short everything you've got because I'm about to tank the market. I really don't know, but I'd be really fascinated to find out. A, has he been doing this in the background? And B, if he has, how is a court of law going to prove that? Particularly if they audit friends, families, and colleagues to find that no long or short positions have been made. Looking at the heat map to close things off, we can see that there is resistance around the $40,000 mark. Bitcoin currently at $39,293, US up 10.43% in the last 24 hours, but the dominance is also creeping up to 46.23%. Ethereum up to nearly 2500 US Everything else is in the green, with the exception of, you can see the stable coins, they slightly pull back into the red because what's happening, although they should be pegged directly to the US dollar, what happens is people are now selling out of their stable coin positions and pushing it back into either Bitcoin or altcoins. And you can see that reflected in the charts as those volumes pushing money out of stable coins into the other coins. And in my prediction, you're about to see Tether drop down to position four. And that's not unheard of. That is merely because people are moving money out of the stable coins into other coins. Therefore, the market cap of Tether will start to drop as to will possibly USDC. Looking at the charts just to close off, we can see Bitcoin at one, Ethereum at two, Tether at three, BNB at four, and Cardano at five. The biggest mover in the last 24 hours is AMP coin up 19.39% in 24 hours and up 50% in the last seven days. I'd advise to be very careful with what's happening here in this situation. We've seen fake outs before. However, on the counter to that, we are still waiting for arguably the blow off that we didn't really have and that we were expecting to see despite the recent pullbacks. What are you doing? Are you buying? Are you holding? Are you longing? Are you shorting or are you doing nothing and simply continuing to dollar cost average in as I hope you are doing wisely? Leave your comments below. I'm Adam Stokes. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. What are you doing, Rocket Man? And I'll talk to you next time.